continuing on the theme of filtering information. Do you remember I said that, that your brain's primary, well, your brain filters out much of the information, otherwise you'd be massively overloaded. Um, and it does that by setting up a series of biases and filters. I mean, in, in cognitive psychology, we call them filters, but really they're, 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 they're gates in a sense. They're a bit like biases, right? And so, and I know it's not you, but if you are significantly prejudiced, that would be a bias. And that would mean that information which was coherent with your, uh, congruent with your prejudice would more would be preferentially accessed, it would get into your brain easier than information which disconfirmed your prejudice. And in fact, if people are strong believers of something, um, I think in fairness, what comes to mind is Trump, President Trump, uh, people who are really, really strong believers in him are, are strengthened in their belief when someone criticizes him because they interpret it as, uh, you know, some form of attack and it, it strengthens their, their kind of, um, their, their kind of, coherence that their sense of identity with him and in fairness um, if you think of virtually any religious cult leader such as James Jones of the Jonestown thing um, L. Ron Hubbard of Scientology uh, and you know a number of other in fact almost all religious leaders in fairness um, create this this sense of bias in their followers such that information which disconfirms what they believe is rejected it's just uh, rejected out of hand Okay, so these are extreme examples, but the point is this, your brain actually runs a series of biases that we could call filters that filter out stuff that is not congruent with what you believe about yourself, the world or the future or how things work or how you feel. Now, if you've got panic, anxiety, depression, stress problems, you're likely to be preferentially accessing and allowing information which is congruent with those problems and making it harder for disconfirming information to get in. So if you can find one thing today that is at odds with kind of what you believe about yourself, that disconfirms your, your kind of idea of who you are. So if you can sort of refresh, as Aldous Huxley said, um, refresh the doors to perception. See if you can see your biases in action. It's kind of an interesting, an interesting thing to do. Um, hard, but interesting and extremely worthwhile.